those who are hurting us, okay? We're to be in charge of those who are persecuting us. And we're to love them into the kingdom of God in spite of them calling us bad names and reviling us and, and doing evil things against us. We are to love them and allow God's power to bring conviction in their own heart because only God can call anyone to faith in him. And so that's what Peter is talking about here. When we live like this, what does God promise according to this verse? Well, the eyes of the Lord will be upon us. Amen? The Lord knows where you are. The Lord knew where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were. The Lord knew where Daniel was. The Lord knew where Paul was in that prison. The Lord knows where we are. Amen? Amen. The eyes of the Lord will be upon us. And secondly, the Lord will hear our prayer. Amen? You want your prayer heard? Do what Peter says in these verses. And God will hear your prayer. Amen? And then third... The face of the Lord will be against those who do evil. Let the Lord be in charge of that. Amen. But we can know that God is he's, he's in charge of that. He knows, hey, that's something that's important to my children. These that are doing harm to them. But we leave that to God. Knowing that he, his face is against those who are doing evil. So how does God view you? How do you understand God's view of you? Look in Romans 5.10 with me. Let me read this, this verse. Do you view yourself like this? For if when we were enemies... We were reconciled to God through the death of his son. Much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Do you see yourself reconciled with God this morning? I pray you do. But if you don't, hey, you've come to the right place. Amen? That can happen this morning. And if you do... See yourself as reconciled before God. We've got a job to do. Amen? We're to, we're, that is our job in, in the world. To reconcile the world with God. Amen? And that is what being persecuted is all about. Amen? Uh, if you're not being persecuted, uh, you might need to check. Am I doing anything right? Am I doing anything of, of righteousness, of, of God? Because if you're following God's way, you're going to be rebuffed. You're going to be persecuted in this world. And it's getting worse, okay? And, and so praise God when somebody's calling you a bad name. Amen? Praise God. Hey, there's an opportunity to bless them. Amen? And if you bless them, what will happen? You're going to get blessed. Amen? That's what Peter is talking about. So I want us to uh, uh, just to pray this prayer together this morning. Uh, I want, uh, just, uh, just, if, you, if you can stand, just go ahead and stand. And let's just pray this prayer together as we give the invitation this morning. Dear Lord, Teach me to inherit a blessing by learning to love the way you do so that I can bless even my enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. God has spoken to your heart. I invite you to respond to him. There are those that might need to pray to receive Christ for the first time this morning. But if you already know him, I pray that you break that prayer with us this morning. 
that we might have to learn how to love the way Christ loved so that we can love those people that are evil, that are against God, that hate God, that we might be effective in His kingdom. Will there be those who would come this morning? God has spoken to your heart, I invite you to respond. Thank you.